everyone hello what's up i decided to create a video here inside my home because i just got home from going out trying to find an apartment you guys just looking at other options in case other apartments doesn't go through um so i just got home and i decided to come home and just rest a little bit i'm not gonna take a nap i mean i just y'all i just cannot sleep in this place i just don't get no rest um i used to could lay down and take naps and stuff like that when i do that it's very short like when i say short i mean i might take a nap for about 20 minutes maybe 40 minutes and then i wait right back up and then when it pertains on the time when it pertains to getting sleep in this apartment is only when i do not feel good i have to have been to the doctor and or whatever or i've been you know here at home and just don't feel good and then still i don't sleep much so i'd rather be out there in my car right now talking to y'all right now but however i'm not doing anything like baby girl has got to wait till she get paid okay <laughs> i suppose i stopped at one place today i probably will go off a little bit later i have to go before six um i might call and ask them can i come tomorrow because i probably will stay here unless my daughter may have somewhere to go but i doubt it i don't think she has anywhere let me fix my lipstick real quick you guys so basically i just came home and this is the deal y'all i'm putting my lipstick this is rimmel what is this lasting finish y'all lasting finish lipstick okay it's in 124 board bordeaux bordeaux that's it right there if y'all can read it but anyways uh i went out there to fill out some applications and don't you just don't it just really upset you especially when you really 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 need a place and you go out there and you went out there on the wrong day like i thought today would be probably a common day that most uh would be in office however because of the covid and stuff and also people have their own hours office or hours of operation when they're there i end up going on a day when nobody was in office which really really is like oh i'm telling y'all i feel so bad right now because i got my money i'm ready to move and it's this is this has been the hardest obstacle the hardest thing i've never had it this hard to get apartment ever and it's almost like I just feel like let me close the door real quick because i'm talking and sometimes it just feels good to be in your own space and talk i mean i feel like y'all this is how i feel like i got on shorts you guys still have on the top that i put on today by the way uh, real quick before i get into it i have on my shein.com a uh, blue jean top and my brand new tank bra bralette and then i have my new necklace that i showed y'all in the car it's the one with the cross on it and it says be still um i just love the look of this with the beads on it it's so cute so in case some of y'all asked about it and then i have on the new earrings it goes with the necklaces that i got that i hauled in a car vlog but let's get back to it y'all okay like i really feel like i'm being like kind of pressured to stay into this place 
And I feel like because of the situation in this household that like people are trying to force me to stay here because I have income. And of course my daughter, she has income or eventually will have income and she had income before, but she's in between right now and taking care of herself and all of that right now. And so I just feel like I'm being pressured to stay somewhere like I'm supposed to pay for stuff and everybody else just sit down on their ass. This is how I feel. Okay. I'm telling you what I feel. I feel like everybody know that that's not fair. Everybody know that that is not right. That is not the way it works in United States of America. Or I, I, I don't know about other places, but I know it don't work like that. Um, I know when you're in a place and especially when you have a limited source of income, I feel like people should contribute to the best way that they can. This is all my opinions. This is what I feel. I can't hide my feelings. I can't just sit here and let this go on and not say something. I know that this has nothing to do with people not being in the office. I could, I just happened to choose the wrong day to go out there. But this is what's been on my mind. It's been on my mind for a long time. Listen, y'all, let me tell you something. Let me give you an idea. I want y'all to understand what's going on, why I'm always talking about leaving and finding a place um my light bill in this i don't mean to be disrespectful but this is a project that means these are some of the oldest places you can live in okay and they're not really you know they are exactly what they are the projects and I'm not being mean because I grew up in the projects. That's why I know a lot about the projects. They're not the best place to live in, but in time of need, they are very uh, helpful and you're very grateful for them in time of need. But I have to say this, um, out of all the places, y'all know, y'all seen me in different places, beautiful apartments compared to this one, beautiful apartments. If you look over here in the corner, you see a big stack of roaches right here. And like the pest control people come here, y'all. I can't help that. Every time I come in here, I just grab, I, I do what I'm used to doing, which is, you know, when you know somebody's coming in, supposed to be taking care of bugs, then you just grab your shit and you start taping. You don't look around for bugs in the corner and stuff like that. I never did. But if you see that, then I'm sorry. This is real life. This is real. This is the real deal. That That is so unhealthy for my health. And it makes me sick. I have allergies. I have sinus problems. My nose is fucking swollen because of my allergies and stuff. My nose never, like back in the day, if y'all look look back at some of my videos on Sheila Shemaine, even on this channel, You'll see sometimes my nose did swell and then sometimes it will go down. That's because I was having allergy symptoms. I'm a, I'm a, I'm having allergy symptoms all the time in this apartment. And it's bad. And I know I need to get out of here. I need to get out of this project. And the thing is, is that while I'm in here trying to move and, and everything, y'all, out of all the apartments, like for real, out of all the apartments I lived in, um, y'all seen all of them, like basically, and especially if you watch my broadcasting um, site, you would have seen the other apartment that I lived in. Those were nice, reasonable, like apartments, especially for around this area. Okay. This been a small town. They're, they're very nice apartments. I never had problems with uh, bugs and all this stuff cluttering in corners. And I never had this issue where I don't want to be at home. I used to love just being at home and relaxing and chilling and creating videos. I, sometimes I would create two and three videos in a day. That's how much I love being at home. This place, I can't stand it. On top of it, out of all those beautiful apartments, now I use, and I've always kept a light on all night. That's just what I've been doing um, since my child was little. I, when I moved out of my home, 
with my mom and dad. Like I keep one light on and my light bill was cheaper at these other places than it is here. My light bill is so fucking high, y'all. It's almost as high as my fucking rent, okay? That's, I, I said that yesterday. I explained it to everybody in this apartment why things are the way that they are. Like, the light bill is out of control, okay? The electric bill is out of control. Then on top of that, I'm the only one with income. And that makes it even harder. However, with my daughter, you know, I let her do her thing. Listen, I will never make my child or force my child to do something, especially when she, when she's working her, like working hard and earning her money. Now, she did help me. But I'm just saying, right now, as it is right now, her health is more important than a job. So in a discussion with that but i'm just saying me being the only person to take care of these bills and being on a fixed income and i'm telling everybody i cannot handle this stuff on my own is ridiculous and then people expect me to stay here when i can move somewhere where it's affordable for my income so that i can take care of what i need to take care of and pay my bills and not have to be like in the situation that I'm in. This is a bunch of crap, like a pure bunch of crap. That's how I feel. And this has nothing to do with the people that wasn't in office. I, you know, I can't control that. This is just how I've been feeling this whole time. I've been like, like I said, I went, there was one apartment complex that did offer me an apartment. I've, I've said that many times on a car vlog and the deposit first, I just thought that that was just, that's just my own personal opinion. I just never have heard of that, putting a deposit on something that you haven't even seen yet. Like I'm being for real. I've not seen that and I know that some people probably have done it because they want a place so badly and need one in so, you know, in such need that they had to put the deposit down before seeing something. But I am very in particular and I know what to watch for because I've had a lot of break-ins and a lot of stuff that has happened to me. It's hard for me to put a deposit on something without walking in there just to see what everything looks like. But that's not the people problem. That's a problem on upon me. I understand that. But I'm just saying like, I've never like, yes, I have. Yes, I have. I've kind of experienced it when I moved into an apartment back in 2018, early 2018. I, I think it was, uh, what is it? April, I think it was, no, not 2018, 2017. Um, April, 2017, when I moved down there and when I was trying to get back home, it took a while. It took almost a year to get back up here. It did, it took about a year. Cause I didn't move up here to April of 2018. So it took a year to get back up here. And so, yeah, y'all get what I'm saying? Um, it's one of those things. It's like, you want to leave, you want to go, and you can do this because like you're getting paid and you got a little money saved up for it. And it's like, you know, you're not giving, it's like there's no opportunity given. Like one other place that I just knew I would be able to get a place at, um, things changed. And I, I, I can prove everything and I will get back in contact with this person to make sure that everything is submitted to the, the corporate, corporate office so that they can see that what the previous manager put down is a lie and i can prove it through pictures that it was a lie and the date of the pictures when the pictures was taken i can prove i got the proof of it 
So I can't wait to get to talk to that person just to see, like, what is the dealio? Like, what's going on? Why are y'all saying that I owe this and I owe that? Same thing going on, y'all. Same thing happened back in April 2017 to April 2018. And let me tell you something. I want to say it right here. The, the landlord back down there at the apartment complex back in April 2017, she can't stand me. And I don't, I can't stand her either. But I'm a Christian. So I know uh, better than to try to come up on, you know, I know better to, when it pertains to people that has a problem with you, I know how to handle it. That means I let God handle it. As long as the person don't physically hit me, or touch me, <clears throat> I don't let it get to me, but this person actually had the nerve to post an email that came to my email address through Facebook. I have blocked this woman several times on my Facebook, and she sent a message just the other day, and the message came to me from Facebook, from my Facebook account. Okay, now listen, y'all. If that ain't a smart ass, I don't know what it is. That's what you call a smart ass and a, and a wicked, evil person. That means this person keep trying to block me. This is what's happening. And I will get in touch with my attorneys if it does not stop. This person is absolutely blocking other apartment complexes from giving me a chance to get in an apartment. I need an, a, an adequate and a clean and a well-secured apartment. Not something that makes me freeze. Like, y'all, no lie. This room is so evil that it has warmed up. But y'all know at night this room is cold. It's like a piece of ice. It's like the fucking Exorcist. You know, the movie Exorcist, like the room is fucking cold. Even in the fucking summer. So that lets you know that this, this whole house is hell. Okay? It's hell. And I'm not lying about it. It's fucking hell. And these people want me to stay in this apartment because they know about it. People that have lived here previously in these apartments, I know some records about what has happened to these people. I know some things about what has been done to these people that lived in these apart in this apartment and what has happened to these people. Now I have to say people around the apartment complex is also into Santanism. For some reason, these people want to put me around Santanic people all the time. And I can't, you know, I don't know who's Santanic until actually I get into a place and then I start noticing odd odd behavior or odd stuff going on then that's when i go oh my gosh that is santanic now if you if you're a santanic person you don't have to watch this okay you do whatever you want to if you love the devil do whatever you want i'm not saying I, i'm not trying to change your mind i just want you to know i'm a christian and i don't want to be living in a, an area full of santanism and I don't want to be living in a house full of satanic um, ritual shit. I don't want it, okay? Uh, no shit. Like, a lot of times, most of the family members stay in the living room or stay on the other side of the apartment. I'm in this room because me and another family member don't get along too good. I feel like when we're in the same room or something, we just end up somehow something happens and we end up fussing okay and so i come in here to make peace because we live in one under one roof right now which is an evil fucking roof but we live here so i try to make peace by coming in this room and this room is fucking cold it's cold right now in this fucking room but outside is it is it's windy but it's not cold and in the living room, it's not cold. In the bathroom, it's not cold. In, in the other rooms, it's not cold. This room stay cold all the fucking time. It's so cold that it's eerie. It's fucking eerie. 
And this is the room where I've got to put all my shit in because this room was kind of like the room I was kind of forced into to choose as a room. And then everything that happened to me in this in this uh, project. Okay. All right. So, yeah, I I just had to let that out. I just feel like people are trying to block me from getting into an apartment to make me feel like I'm responsible for older adults. And that's not right. Nobody, I, I ain't seen a person in this neighborhood. I don't know of a person in this neighborhood that is living with adult people and they're not contributing towards something. Okay, I'm being real. And then some people that do live with people that was contributing and they stop contributing, guess what happens? They end up kicking their butts out of the, the apartment because they're not happy. And then they bring somebody else in that can help. Like, this is pressure. This is fucking pressure. And I know I can easily, some people probably say, just fucking walk out. That's what a lot, one person told me that, said, Sheila, if I was you, I'd just fucking walk out. Just fucking walk away. Just leave it. Fucking leave. And the only reason why I won't do that, you know what? I probably would have done that by now if I didn't have my child. My child is one thing that, you know, let me tell you, I love, I raised my daughter. I raised her as a single mom. And I've been there for, and I don't want to just walk out. But I'm telling you, if I didn't have a child, I probably been done walked out. I probably been done fucking said, fuck this shit. I'm out. Because how many times do a person has to express that they are under pressure? Every fucking month. Like it's almost time for payday, and I'm already feeling pressure. And I can't. Like I, I got I got like certain conditions and things like that. I can't be under pressure. I cannot. And this is not me being mad or anything like that. This is just reality. This is what I am going through. This is reality. That's what this channel is all about. My car vlogs, all this stuff is basically about what is reality. What's going on in my life? Okay. What is going on? Because I know as soon as I get me an apartment, Sheila will be happy. Sheila will be happy. That That is the only thing right now in my life that I feel like is such a necess necessity that is number one on my list of things that I need to do so that I can be happy. Okay? When you're living in a place where you're not happy, you're never going to be because you don't like it here. You never gonna be happy. And I'm not gonna I, I be damned. If if something doesn't change, I'm gonna fucking do what I have to do, which is the last thing on my list, okay, of what I can do. Because everybody cannot be blocking. That is against the Equal Opportunity Act. Everybody cannot be blocking people. I don't care who don't like who. I don't care who have a problem with who. There's a lot of people that have problems with people, but guess what? When you have a vacancy, you are supposed to allow people to move in regardless of what Hickadoo say and Almond and, and Hazelnut and whoever says about that person. You are supposed to be an equal opportunity. That's the, that's the law. You're not supposed to discriminate. Regardless of what people think about somebody, if a person is not hitting nobody, if a person is not putting their hands on the, on anybody, you're not supposed to discriminate when it pertains to having available places for people to move into. That is going against the discrimination law. And I will get with attorneys if need it be. Somebody mentioned that to me, said, you might need to get a, um, an attorney. If this is happening to you, because I'm the type of person right now, 
Like, I don't mind leaving this area. I don't mind leaving it. But right now, right now, it's more about me. I don't want to leave without everything being good. And I'm not going to get into points like what I'm talking talking about i've spoken to the the person i'm speaking about what i want to happen before we make a big move okay and i'm gonna do that but right now i feel like where we are at is better because it's a smaller place and i feel like it won't be too bad that's what i personally feel but however, you guys, like for real, if I have to bring in a, an attorney, and I, in fact, I think I'm going to call attorney after I get done talking right here, creating this video. Because I'm not saying that today nobody discriminated against me. Nobody turned me down. I'm just saying from the previous apartments, everywhere I've been, one won't even speak won't even pick up the damn phone i've never seen or even known of anybody that won't even return your phone calls that's not even professional that's just like somebody telling you i don't want you here that's what it sounds like that's in the in the eyes of the the public or in the view of the public if they were doing that to everybody that would be like what what is it this person don't even return my phone calls don't even call me back to say anything and then you know what what the deal especially after dropping off an application or whatever and don't get a response back that's not professional you're supposed to return people phone you're supposed to call people back and let them know things that 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 pertains to apartments you're supposed to as a professional person so this is not a rant this is just me fucking tired of being in this fucking project that is not doing me no good and nobody else any good but i'm speaking for myself because i'm the one that's making this video it's not fucking good i hate fucking coming back if I could have stayed on out until later on this evening, I will. And I probably will go back out. I'll fucking spend all of my little loose change, dollars, or whatever. Just get out of this fucking project until it's time to go to bed. And then when I go to bed, I do not relax. I fucking play the music until I just doze off. And then I wake up and I'm hearing the music again. Then I doze off again. I fucking can't stand it. I've never been in a situation like this. Does it, does it, like, do you think I'm like, no, no, no. This is real. This is real talk, real shit. And I can't fucking stand this motherfucking place. Excuse my language, but I, 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 y'all, I'm a Christian, but when you've had it over your head with people trying to block you and trying to stop you from getting out and, and doing better just so that you can be around and take their shit and also to take care of other people that you're not responsible for, I think that's fucking shitty as hell. I think it's shitty and it's wrong. I don't give a fuck who you are. I would tell you to your face. Nobody, not even nobody in this neighborhood is doing that. The ones that's out there just tooting and acting like they in with this one and that one and that one, they wouldn't do it. As soon as somebody start leaving or they kick out somebody, they fucking ass leave. You know why? Because they don't have nobody to help them with the fucking bills, okay? And they don't have nobody to contribute to certain bills that got to be paid. Like, that's pressure on one person. Especially if you're not fucking working 24-7. Like, I'm not working 24-7. I'm not, fuck, fuck that shit. Like, for real, fuck that shit. That's not right. Like, if, if I was doing something, if I could do something, okay, it might be a different situation. But I have an inner ear problem. And that's why I talk real loud. Some people be like, you talk loud. I can't help it. 
Okay, that's a condition that I have. It's a condition I've been having since I was 18 years old. It just got worse as years, you know, as I got older and older. But I'm just saying, like, I can't do no more. I cannot do no more than I have. I've done a lot. I've been helping people since 2014. Okay, 2014, with just my little income, I've been happy. And I've been doing it nicely, too. I was doing it nicely. Until it got about 2018, I was like, listen, it's been four years now. Something got to change. Something got to change. I'm not going to sit here. And I don't care who is on whose side. I don't care who likes who. I don't care because I'm telling the truth about everything. And I, I, I can say more than that, but I won't. I say that in a courtroom, in appropriate setting. But I'll say this right here. No one will be doing what I'm doing right now, what I've been doing. Nobody would do it. People across the road got people living with them to help them with bills. Everybody in this fucking whole three street story type of apartment got somebody living with them to help them. There's people in the, in the apartments there to help them. And who wouldn't want to get help? Who would want to get help, especially in my situation? I can't do what my mama and daddy did. I cannot because I am a different person, even though my mama and daddy is my mama and daddy, but I'm a different person. Everybody's different. Some people would do without and all that and blah, 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 blah. Okay. I'm a type of person, when I need clothes, I want clothes. When I need shoes, I want shoes. What am I getting money for? I'm getting money to help myself, right? We all get money to get what we want as well as what we need, okay? It's for two things, two reasons. I'm not going to sit here and do without just so everybody around can have, like, you know what I'm saying? You can only help but so much, okay? I've helped. I've helped for a while to try to give people time to decide on what they're going to do. I've been doing that since my, my mother and father passed away. I've been doing that. So how long does it take? For, uh, for people to realize they got to think of something that they got to do. Like this is on me. This is, this is on me all the time. I am not nobody's mother except for one. And then I have my little pet baby. I'm responsible and my baby now, she's grown. Both of them are. Even my little pet baby, she's grown. But I still take care of her. But she grown. So it's like, this is my time to be free. This is my time. If I'm going to buy me something, this is the time to do it. Because I done raised my daughter and all of that. I done been through all of that phase. School stuff, all this stuff that we have to do as parents. I done been through that phase. And sacrifice a lot. And when I say sacrifice a lot, I mean, you know, you got to pay. You know, you got to buy this, buy that. Got to get this, got to get that. Okay, I did that. I did that. So, this is the time where I'm supposed to relax. I should be in a better place and relax. And not be in the situation I'm in right now, which is worrying about this, worrying about that. I shouldn't be having to worry about anything at this point. Because I've done all the hard work that one of the hardest jobs is being a mom. 
raising a child is a wonderful experience, but it is not easy. So I'm just being straight honest. Like this is what's on my mind. This this what's on my mind. Like I can't. I can't. Like if this, if something doesn't go through, like for real, if something doesn't go through by next week, if I do not create a video for a couple of weeks or something, you guys, just know that Sheila has made up her mind that she's going to do what she has to do. I may not be able to make a videos for a couple of weeks or so until I get where I need to be. That's just how I feel right now. Like, I'm not fucking lying. I'm telling the truth. If if nothing goes through, if nothing proceeds with this second time of me going through, um, trying to get somewhere to stay in a better place, a nicer place, a place where I consider home, a place that I don't mind staying at home, creating my videos and, and doing what I love to do, washing and, and doing what I'm supposed to do as a mother and, and cooking and cleaning and doing whatever I need to do in my apartment. If I do not get an apartment of my own, y'all, I'm telling you right now, if y'all do not see any post from me for a few weeks, just know Sheila meant what she said in this video. Like she's had it. And she's fist that I am. When I say she's, I'm talking about myself. That I am truly indeed going to take care of this one way or the other. Because I'm not going to be fucking in this project any longer. I fucking hate it in here. It's got a terrible spirit in here. And it's fucking cold in this room. Y'all wouldn't believe how cool it is in this fucking room. It's so fucking cool. But you can go into another room and it's warm. That tells you something right there. That something evilish is in here. Okay? Something very evilish. That you can't sleep. You can't rest. You can't take a good nap. Because it's something people are doing in the area that's not good. And then the house is tormented. It's completely tormented with something. Call me whatever you want. I'm telling you facts. There's many people that have many stories on YouTube. If you don't believe me, people that have experienced the same fucking thing or something similar to what I've experienced in, in this project, then look at some videos. You probably ain't going to be able to watch but one. After you see one person's true story, you probably not going to, you probably going to be so damn scared, you probably not going to be able to watch another one. Because it takes God to deliver you. I'm telling you that right now. It takes God to deliver you from evil, tormented spirits. And then everywhere I go to try to get out of here, I'm being blocked. Or something turns up or something. Like after I went to these places, I told, I told this one person, I said, do not stop me. Do not get involved with people. To try to block me from getting where I need to go. I told this person. I said do not. Because I cannot be here in this apartment. And I've been saying this for months. It's just people have been blocking me. I started working on this y'all actually in January. December, January on trying to move. And every which way I go. You got to pay this. You got to pay that. Finally, I paid it. I went ahead and paid it even though I didn't fucking owe the money. After I paid for it, now it's something else. See what I'm saying? Like, if something don't go through, if this doesn't fucking go through, something doesn't go through, I'm going to do what I have to do. I'm going to do what I, I I'm not going to say what I'm going to do. But if y'all do not see a post from me, if y'all don't see any uh. I'm going to tell my, I'm going to actually create a video next for my um, Sheila Shemay channel. I'm going to let them know the same thing. If y'all don't see a Taylor Tuesday video or a Fashion Friday video, then know that Sheila is taking care of business. 
Sheila, that's one thing about me. When I was in that terrible place where that satanic worshiper that lived right across from me was living at, and I knew she was doing devil men, when I get on it where I've got to find a place, I will keep going until I get it. I will keep going until I get it. I don't stop until I get where I feel happy in, where I will be content, where I will be happy to create videos and be in a beautiful, secure, nice place. I refuse to live in this project that these people want me to live in. I refuse. So yeah, you guys, I'm gonna end this video because it's like 40 minutes long already. So I thought I'd go ahead and give y'all the information first and just know if y'all do not see any car vlogs or anything like that for a couple of weeks, know that I'm coming back. I'm coming back. I want y'all to know I'm coming back like this is this is my love right here which is uh social media youtube like this is my first love youtube was my first a uh, social media platform i like it i i get a lot i have a lot of fans i'm thankful for that i'm glad that a lot of y'all do enjoy and understand where i'm coming from but i'm just saying if y'all do not see videos for a few weeks know this that sheila is getting her a place somewhere okay sheila's getting her a place somewhere because people is not giving me the opportunity here i feel like i'm being discriminated against here that's just how i feel and i want y'all to like comment and subscribe and share this video because i feel like this is very good for somebody else that may be going through the same situation i'm going in it's like people trying to force you to live in a place you don't want to live in and everywhere you go it's like some kind of something to try to block you from moving in okay i am being discriminated against right here in this area when it pertains to a place of living which is an apartment that i'm getting discriminated against and i then on top of that i'm being forced to take care of people that i'm not i'm not even so i'm not responsible for so i'm saying i'm not responsible to take care of these people no matter who they are i'm not responsible all i can do is help and i've been helping so once again don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. Share it so people can see this. And others that may be in my situation or have been through my situation, maybe they can give me some info as to what I can do. Give me some more information. I know a lot of things already. But if y'all got some better information, some good advice, hey, share the video. So someone that might have been in this situation can let me know more. And the more information you get, the more help you can get, the better it is. Okay? So I thank y'all for watching. I appreciate y'all for watching. And remember, if nothing goes through. Now, we got another week. If nothing goes through, if I feel like nothing's going through, it's being blocked, whatever. If y'all don't see a video just know that Sheila is really busy. Sheila really busy trying to get this go through. Because I can't do videos and also try to find a place because I need to stay steady on finding a place. And I may not be able to create these videos because I'm really, really busy. Okay? Just know that. But know that I will be back on my channels and creating a video. Okay? All right, you guys, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and share this video, and I will see y'all in my next video. Take care, you guys. Be careful, too. Thank you.